County Manager's report, Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to add to the conversation related to the fire trucks um, that staff worked hard um, with the new battalion chiefs who have now spent some time out in the community working with our firefighters to determine what types of truck we need to start standardizing across the county with the fire department expansion. Um, you know, what, what we have, here to, have inherited is kind of a piecemeal. Um, and the complication that can come in is that with not all the trucks being similar or the same, not all the equipment is in the very same place on all of those trucks. And so now our rescue is working to standardize that. Um, but with that, we have spec'd out um, not less truck, but a smaller, more efficient truck than we have purchased in the past um, that our fire department believes will be more maneuverable uh, on the different types of roads and terrain and, and developments that they have to go into. Um, and will also be a better asset to the firefighters in that process. So if you have any questions between now and tomorrow related to those specifications, the benefit of, um, certainly if you would like to only approve the two fire trucks for the current year, um, that, that is certainly um, your option there. Um, but we did work hard on that pricing knowing that we that the current plan is to buy two per year until we get the fleet replaced. Um, we have still, in service six to eight of those pumpers that were purchased in 1996 um, and the maintenance cost is just tremendous and they're not the most reliable in the world in the world and they are hard to maneuver so that's kind of where we are with that plan so please let me know if you have any questions um, and the only other thing I have this morning is that late Friday I received an email back from reapportionment on our numbers um, based on the census that they have that they would like for you all to start with in moving district lines. So I'm going to send that out to you all this morning, take a look at it, and then we'll be circling back around with you this week to see what your availability is for us to be in, to do an online meeting with reapportionment and get some ideas. Um, we thought maybe that they were going to initially suggest just some movement between district four and five, um, but they have recommended that you all look at all of the districts. Um, Mr. Ornstein, that your district has grown significantly as well. And so Commissioner Weisenbecker and Commissioner Evans need a few more folks. <laughs> so we're going to have to, to look at it. Maybe all of us. Ms. Evans and I, we, we enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. But the only one that didn't change, change was the chairman's district. <laughs> that one didn't change. That's right. That's right. The number went up. Right. We'll work out. Any questions for Ms. Dudes?